Okay, for some reason my <laughs> the webcam view was hidden there for and I <laughs> I don't know what happened. Anyways, hello anyone we are watching now later on YouTube, Helen here along with Lucky And yeah, welcome to a Saturday side show where we're just going to be relaxing a bit with well, Slime Rancher. Yeah. And I haven't played this game in like three years or more even. Oh, you're in for surprise then. And also, people, a quick thing here. This is what is like in some alien's head when I on stream. <laughs> so the whole chaos is all glory. Uh, let's see. Oh, it actually still has my oh invalid format. Okay, that that uh, makes sense. So might as well get rid of that since it got corrupted. Okay, good that they have a hold the button to delete, so uh, you don't accidentally delete something you don't want to. What's this with DLC? Galactic play sets, secret style sets, secret <laughs> cosmetics. But, uh, okay, so just some cosmetic stuff. For now, though, let's get started. Mm. Casual rush. Race against the client to run as many new bucks as possible. Okay. Uh. Hmm. Yeah, well, it's adventures or cash for most useful for us. Let's see, Life of Slam Rance, explore the wonders of the far, far reach on your own pace. Let's take on adventure mode without any threat of tar slimes. Okay, so it, it just removes en the only enemies in the game, to my knowledge. Alright, then um, adventure is better than for. Yeah, we want at least some uh, something to happen. And uh, yeah, tar slimes are these things. We'll get to those in a bit. Doesn't oh yeah, let's go with this one. Rock oh, slime is a happy slime. See? Told you. Feed me often. <laughs> a thousand light years away from Earth, on a planet known as the Far Far Range, Beatrix Lavleur returns her first day as a slime rancher. I don't think story mode was actually added by the time uh, last time I played this. And uh, yeah, this about looks the same as always. This has been expanded quite a bit. Yeah, they yeah. did add story a bit later, but only a fragment of it. Sprint. And yeah, basically this game is a sort of uh, adventure and farm light game. And, well, we are slime ranchers, so we, uh, yeah, we have to ranch and breed uh, slimes, like these little guys here. 
Come here, you little bugger. Mm. I can select stuff like this, and we can launch them. <laughs> and yeah. When we feed these guys, we they will drop these uh, pink plorts. For the moment, I thought that one of them was outside. And oh, yeah, we, we sell these. There has been glitches where they actually glitched outside in the past. I hope to fix that. I expect so. Uh, let's see. Taste the food no, apart. Da, 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 da. Okay, they want Ooh. us to feed one of these. So, yeah, we can just fire it off into their own in their faces. And, like I said, plorts. Everyone went to seek it out himself. Give me that. Yeah, the AI of these things is pretty basic, but it doesn't need to be. Let's see, you vac the slime. Ta -da -ta. Through the cool. Yeah. There we go. And what are you going to tell me? Oh, hello there. Boop. <laughs> so when slimes eat, they make plorts. Head on over to the plort mark to cash in on your plorts. I remember what plort is. Ain't it basically, you know... Slime poop? poop? Yeah. Yeah. Let's see, that about covers the basics. Da -da. Go and explore. Remember the best way to come up pro rancher is to experiment. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. And uh, yeah, we have a few of these uh, plots here where we can set up extra ranches, but we can also set up gardens, coops, silos, an incinerator. <laughs> Don't need it, burn what? it. Or a pond. This one is new, I think. Ba basically, yeah, it's a, a technological garbage can. <laughs> and the heck is this? Range exchange office. Okay, that's probably for trading. There are some areas on the side, but I think we have to unlock those. Yeah, because there's force fields in the way. And yeah, those will just open up extra places for us to put things. For now, though, let's go look around the dry reef. Let's see. The, the environment surrounding the ranch is known as the Dry Reef and is an arid, windswept land covered in dusty crags and rocky cliffs, almost said rusty cliffs, shaped by the wind over the millennia. The Dry Reef is primarily home to pink, tabby, and rock slumps. Those phosphor slumps will also come out of hiding when the sun sets. The Dry Reef's climate doesn't make for an abundance of any particular resource, but plenty of carrots, poker fruit, and hen hens are everywhere, as well as some less common resources if you know where to look. And what have we here? Oh, Beatrix! Hello, Beatrix. The name's the name's Hobson Triglers, rancher, explorer, and the former owner of this here ranch you now call your own. Please make your acquaintance. I was a rancher for more years than I can remember, and felt there was one last adventure left to me, so I've set off to find out just that. But before I go, I'm taking one last tour around here, this here land I love. Uh, so keep your peepers peeled for notes like these if you want to hear what an old coot has to say every now and again. Be talking to you. Okay, Hobson. Or just Hobbs. Okay. So those are... Those are... New. Yeah, those are definitely new. Okay. And what if is I remember the correctly... Are those the phone notes? These are, yeah. They bounce? They're poker fruit, the most common fruit found on. <laughs> poker fruit are a common sight to almost everyone on the far, far range. Tasting like a bit like a peach, they're most notable for having their trademark spots both on and under the skin. Deposit the poker fruit into a garden depositor and you'll grow a large poker fruit of your own. Yeah, that's one way we'll be making food, otherwise, we'll have to scavenge all over the place for it. For now, though, let's. Uh, Get a bit more stock. And some carrots as well. These these things will quickly regrow. At the moment we can carry a maximum of 20 of anything. I just realized something. I have watched a few older streams of the game. And I don't think it's pretty every thing that you know what is used for. It says so at the market, I think, or in the Slimepedia, or whatever it's yeah, called again, let's see. 
Slime. Spin yeah, slime. I'm curious. Since Sl the floor is obviously valuable for something. Pink floors are an excellent multi-purpose generic substance used for manufacture everything from food product products to household cleaners. All over Earth, people are eating burgers, sweetening their coffees, and scrubbing their floors with pink floored products. That's some serious versatility. And yeah, I think you, you could consider it less poop and more like processed material. Oh, we are. Because, uh, yeah, slimes lack a digestive tract. Oh, hello there. <laughs> yeah. What the heck? Do you shoot? Shame on you. Chikado? Chikado. So little and soft you think they're, almost, they're filled with marshmallow. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Type future meat. Not slime fruit. Chikadoos are baby chickens that will eventually grow into a hen hen or more rarely a roostro. Sikadoos of all varieties will never be eaten by slimes. Some believe this is because slimes are too kind-hearted to do such a thing. And this believe it's because chickadoos don't yet have enough meat on their bones. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Actually, I think for now... Uh, we, can get, we can get better than just normal pink slimes. Oh, come on, you monster! <laughs> and these are rock slimes. <laughs> these <laughs> slimes are totally metal. And yeah, it's specifically said that it, it, basically most of the planet is covered in a slime sea. So if you just throw them back in there, they, uh, they don't die so much as they uh, dissolve and reform later. Okay, so they changed that for... In earlier, very early version, it was not water, and it did die from it. And out. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, these are Largo slimes. Oh, my Largo. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's basically what happens if a... Oh, ow. If a slime eats a plort of another kind of slime, it, it makes them a big slime. Though, if you feed them a third type of plorts, that's when things will go bad. For now, though, let's deposit all of this stuff. Might be a good idea. <clears throat> Not now, let's see. We have, on the upper left, we have the day and time, as well as a mail notification. In the lower uh, left, uh, there's a lower right. The upper left, we have the time and day. Lower left, we have our money, our health, and our stamina. And the middle is as obvious as can be. And that's about it for... Oh, hello there, we already have a chicken here. Let's see. And yeah, let's start with a coop. You. Oh, a rooster, that's useful. It struts his stuff like he's the king of the coop. The favored by hunter slime. <laughs> Roostros are the alpha birds of the far on the far range and half of the equation required to breed chickens on the ranch. However, roostros are rarer than any hen, making them a great find any uh, time one is discovered. So we got, <laughs> we got very lucky there. To require a roostro, either find one out on the range or breed them on the range. Any type of chickadoo has a small chance of growing into a roostro. Some ranchers believe that these odds increase if you meet, greet the roostro's king crow at uh, sunrise with an enthusiastic good morning. But, uh, all hens in close confinement to roostros will appear like lay their eggs, da, da, da. and keep their coops from exceeding 12. Okay, so each coop can hold a maximum of 12 chickens. And if I remember correctly, each rooster can only uh, breed so many times. Let's see, hen hen. Hen hens are a special breed of chicken bred to survive the climate of the far, uh, far range. While appearing more or less like a big chicken, these burly birds are more, you know, much more adept at fending for themselves, making them ideal for ranchers who might otherwise be distracted by a few hundred hungry slimes. 
The tail hand hands in close comes into the tail will like feel like hair. Giving too many hands or roost choice in close sprung it makes them anxious and egg production will come to a halt. Okay, so again, 12 is the max in a in a pen. Yeah, you, you missed a bit of special text there actually. Uh, is there a special text I think you may enjoy? A hearty chicken bread to be twice as tasty as its cousin on earth. <laughs> yeah, yeah I, I do like chicken. So do I. When it's well cooked. Okay. All of you little idiots feast well. Well, they're busy with that. So, oh, there we have our first pin. <laughs> they launched one of the little fuckers out. Oh, they launched more out. Get in here. <laughs> uh, hey, get out of there, you. Oh. Hello, are you looking to join? <laughs> oh. That's a wrong, sir. One of them got out. And yeah, they're, they're too big to be sucked up. So they end up stuck on the <laughs> on the on your vacuum. Oh yeah. Oh. I think you Water need more, more they are jumping out, I think. By standing on each other. Yep. Oh, yeah. They're slow enough to be held in, I'd say. But yeah, logger slimes also produce uh, both plorts of both of the types of, creep of of slime that they were spawned from. So there should be once they start eating, actually. Or actually, they they became like this because they ate the plorts. Might as well. <laughs> okay, so they would eat that. Uh, hello there. Moment, it sounded like one of them escaped and was behind me. But uh, yeah, they ate. Yeah, there. One of them ate, and it gave both a pink and a rock plort. Okay. I thought they were to give you a very special plort instead. Uh, no, that's not the case. But let's sell these. These sell for 17. Then. Okay. The, okay, I remember this. The, the plort plies is prices prices will change from time to time like you can see the pink plort price is up the rock plort price pl <laughs> price is neutral light slimes down so yeah it is advised to keep a select a, oh, a mixture of slimes in your ranch now though let's ah there they are I suspect you need to upgrade the might as well grab whatever ports we find to sell. And yeah, these are phosphor slimes. The softly... Oops. Okay, missed that. The softly glowing heralds of starlight. Phosphor slimes come out at night, flying out the moonlit range until they're upon their translucent wings. Phosphor slimes have a luminescent slime core that pulses with a soft glow, making them easy to spot. It's for this reason, some uh, reasons, ranchers sometimes refer to them as low stars. The special needs compared to your typical slime floors will quickly dissolve ex if exposed to sunlight, meaning a rancher could quickly lose an entire coral's worth of phosphorus slimes if they're not careful. Yeah, the these things will die in sunlight. The luminescent compound found within phosphor ports can produce light for over 100 years, making it an incredibly eco-friendly form of illumination on Earth. Cities across the globe are slowly switching over to phosphor lights, saving trillions of gigawatts of energy daily. If you, plus, if you rub the stuff in your hair, it glows. <laughs> it looks really cool. <laughs> okay. Billions of gigawatts. Uh, I'm guessing that uh, Earth probably has a bit of a problem with overpopulation, perhaps, then. Possibly, or at least, uh, just uh, the... The plots are just so eco-friendly that they... Uh, will help save Earth uh, in the long run. And as well, probably even by just that alone, help uh, doing new colonization everywhere. So, even if they have overpopulation, it probably won't be for long to help those plots. 
And it could also be that uh, humanity built our colleges and such, or are, are more in orbit around the place as well. Huh? Thank you. Uh, no need for you. You are here on an alien planet, so it should be possible for there be to be all the planets on the whole as well. Yeah. Let's grab you before you get eaten. Okay. Yeah, some of these pl uh, spots. Uh, I I keep putting L's into things. <laughs> some of these spots uh, are a bit uh, isolated, which makes them good places to find some plorts every now and then from the slams that have been eating the food that's been growing there. Yeah, though. I should realize. You need to unlock the cave for the phosphor slime. Yeah. Every year. This another cave system is sealed off from a cave in it and I first discovered it. And maybe that's why the fellas up ahead are so grumpy. They haven't had a bite in a long time. In any case, don't let that long awaited bite come from your own rump. Yeah, bring some food to calm them down. Yeah. Slimes that don't get fed will get grumpy and may try attacking. What the heck is that? And what is this here? Oh, a map. There's three keys and 14 doors. Yeah, this certainly wasn't here last time either. And that I remember. Yeah. I remember see. this. <laughs> and yeah, there's quite a bit of land to explore. Map data acquired. Okay. Oh, give me uh, some of those. Actually, you, uh, good luck on your own. Or actually, oh, I, okay, I can only carry a maximum of 20, and I can't fill a second slot of it. That makes sense, balance reasons. But we can just uh, fill us up with this. Let's see, there's all of them. Okay. Uh, let's explore a little bit further. Hello, I don't remember minerals being here. I do remember this here, though. <laughs> oh, there's a rock slime there. Yeah, they, they can hurt us. Uh, yeah. <laughs> as cute as they are, they will just go after chickens if they can, and... Yeah, that's what you get if you mix a phosphor slime with uh, pink slime. Oh, reminds me. Where's the in this thing now? Yep, yeah, uh, that goes there. No, I didn't have room for that plort anyways. If I'm right, you need to do some quick to unlock some story. Okay. And other things. I had a great big tree like this one here along the edge of my property back on Earth. It had been there before anyone could remember. It survived all kinds of chains around it, and then one day I uh, began to notice it was dying. It wasn't anything unnatural, it was just its time, I suppose. And then I realized that if I didn't do something, I'd end up like that tree. I'd spend my whole life in the same place. I wasn't going to let that happen, so I bought a ticket for the far for our rains the very next day. Back in. Yeah, being mobile or stationary, it, it's it's sort of your own choice, and some people can never sit still and uh, hello there. Others are more content to stay stationary. The heck is that? Rock ornaments. Well, that's new. Okay, so, well, since these guys would die anyways... Ornaments. Collectible decoration for your ranch. Uh, unique decorations. Okay, so ju yeah, just decorations. Uh, <laughs> Chick getting rolled around by the slimes. Probably too traumatized from seeing its mother get eaten. Okay. Let's dodge these little bastards. Wait, I just remember. How is tar slime formed again? From eating a thorough type of plort. 
So oh. if you feel, if you with these pink ones, uh, with the the pink rock slimes back there, if I fed them a fast force uh, plort, they turn into tar uh, slimes. I'm pretty sure. Actually, if I if I throw these tabbies in here, they probably would uh, become that. So for the moment, I'm uh, putting you all in the corner. I have to be careful with them though, since they'll try to get into the coop. For now though, the price went down a little bit. But we have enough. Okay. I probably could have put the the coop over there instead to keep things more separated, but oh well. For now, let's put up a garden. And there we go. Oh, Pedakin is now following. Thank you for the follow, Pedakin. If you aren't a bot, that is, uh, because... Yeah, Twitch still has problems with bots. It probably will always have, and they they want the ports. Oh, oh, but you little motherfucker. Oh, well, at least I'll be able to show what happens with a... a pow with this now. So first off, let's put you somewhere where you won't cause too much damage. It, it, I say, and it immediately tries to kill me. And yeah, there we go, tar slime. Bye-bye. Those awful ravenous rainbows. Wait, what? <laughs> Diet Slime's favorite ranchers. The tar are formed when a logo eats a plort unlike the ones it produces. A terrible transformation occurs that turns the slime into a sludge filled with a swirling prismatic array of colors and a relentless appetite. The tar seek only to consume and replicate. The only way to stop a tar outside of incinerating it or throwing it into the slime sea is with fresh water. One splash will stop a tar from spawning a new tar and the repeated splashes will destroy it entirely. Okay, I didn't know that. Alternatively, many uh, ranchers recommend running away with their arms waving and screaming. <laughs> <laughs> the single biggest threat to ranchers, the taurus will seek out slimes to consume and replicate themselves, but it will also devour chickens, rot crops in their proximity, and even devour ranches. Remember, ranching largos might may be highly profitable, but one straight plort and you could wind up with a devastating tar outbreak. Produce no plorts, only more tar, and then more tar still. Okay. Let's see. Uh, yeah, we can upgrade this thing. We don't have much money, though, at the moment. We Oh, demolishing cost as well, okay. Auto feeder. Plort collector. Solar shield. This will allow you to have uh, Phosphor Slimes or Phosphor Lagos out in here. But it's much easier to go into the cave over there. Air net. Horse barrier that covers the top of a corral. Can, it can take a few hits before needing to recharge. That will keep them from jumping out. Music box. Soothing tune that greatly reduces slime agitation. Basically, it keeps them happy longer. And yeah, high walls just ups the capacity. Yes, um, you can go inside your house too, and yeah, inspect if there's any quests. Yeah. At the moment, though, I think I'll get rid of a few of these. Because, yeah, rock ports are valuable now. But they also have the habit of just rolling into me. So yeah, it'll be a lot better to have a, something a, something that is uh, less possibly hurtful. Yeah. Oh, sorry, it did, sir. You can see that the tabby you know, slimes are out here with the carrots and they're not interacting with them at all. And just to be safe. Yeah, we still have chickens. Yeah, it's because they have a diet. It will show it in the upper right here. <laughs> it's even a log poop. 
Uh, hey, they're actively jumping at me. <laughs> but yeah, tabby slimes will eat meat only. Pink slimes will eat everything. Rock slimes are will stick to vegetables I, only, I think. And... Now you lose, motherfucker. I thought I saw something! Okay, can we upgrade this thing to have higher walls? Yes. We can't afford it at the moment because these little shitheads keep getting in. Away with you. Ow. Yeah, that's... There's some more... It got you damn decoration again. No, and I, I think it, it can just hover in place there. And we're in luck. These are up price. Everything's up in price. And just like that, we have 500. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I saw that, you little shit. I wonder okay. if you bring oh, come on, they, they ate the rooster. Perfect. All of you are in detention. Okay, in the meantime, though... Ow. Ow. Uh, let's get rid of these at the moment. Since the, the rock is a bit painful to deal with. A, a bit literally. And then I'll show something else. Where the, having Lagos is useful for. So let's fire one of you there. And then I'll quickly run over here to see if I can find any pink slimes or pink plorts here. Are there any plorts just flying around? Nope. At least we got that. Okay. Pardon? Okay. All of you in here. And look. You can see now, guys, meet them. Okay, you guys are jumpy. And if we fight, feed them that, the team will not catch. No, once the achievement goes away. Diet everything. Yeah, it'll mix their diets, so it... Oh, you've already eaten, yeah? Everything you said. Yeah. Including you. No. <laughs> but yeah, that's one way to get uh, meat plorts, uh, or, well, plorts from meat-eating slimes a little bit easier. So for now, let's just grab up our carrots. Actually, you three can hang out freely for now. You shouldn't be able to get in there. And yeah, these can be our big guard cats for the moment. If I just put a lot of food in this corner, it should keep them around here. Did they actively mow? Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, that's this I remember. Tabby cats also have a habit of stealing shit. So, yeah, they, they aren't eating the carrots, they just stole them. Now, where's number three? There you are. Oh yeah, we didn't look up what it has to say about them or the rock slimes. Sli rock slime veggies. Hard favorite heartbeat. Rock slimes earn their name from the rocky crown of sparp spikes atop their slimy bodies. But their affection for minerals doesn't end with their appearance. Rock slimes are strictly uh, vegetarian, favoring the crunchy, cr uh, the satisfying crunch of the heartbeat most of all. The dangers of a rock slime should be fairly obvious. 
The rocky crown is sharp enough to pierce through a short uh, rancher's boot, but it's not all about watching where you are stepping, as these rocks are always rolling. Rock and roll. <laughs> when you see a sli rock slime revving up for a tumble, it's best to get out of the way. Rock floors are prized for being a key component in the production of blue metal, an amazing alloy that's stronger than titanium and lighter than plastic. Because of its amazing strength, blue metal is often a key component in the hulls of light speed capable starships, synthetic appendages, and protective hollow phone cases. <laughs> Come on. Come on, phone cases. And the tabby slimes. Uh, those stripes that tail that wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. <laughs> Favorite stony hen. Tabby slimes share many curious similarities to domesticated houseless cats of Earth. With their perky ears, striped backs, and swaying tails, you'd almost mistake them for a true feline, if they weren't made out of, uh, entirely out of gooey slime, of course. A tabby slime generally doesn't mean any harm to a rancher, but like their spiritual Earth cat cousins, often cause a great deal of chaos anyway. Tabby slimes love to steal things they don't eat, like fruits and veggies, resulting in a lot of unintended Largo transformations on the ranch. Tabby plorts are a key ingredient in a variety of performance-enhancing products that grant the consumer a surge of the tabby slime's signature energy and exuberance. And whilst athletes the world over take them to gain an edge, prolonged use often results in uncontrollable butt wiggles, another less desirable signature of the tabby slime. What? Uh, I, you know, you know how cat, cats tend to uh, wiggle before pouncing. <laughs> that's what that's meant. Yeah, but I'm more concerned of the earlier uh, mention. Let's see, what is this actually? Oh dear, Do, it, it almost feels like that it should be an illegal one. Okay, and yeah. Things on the garden grow, grow, grow pretty quickly. Yeah, we need to find a new rooster though. Since, well, the, the furry little. No, not the fur, the, the slimy bastards got. One, they got out, and two, uh, they ate the rooster. Okay. Other way they ate him just a millisecond before you, uh, you applied the upgrade. Okay, yeah, we'll have to just keep looking for a new one, as well as for new slimes. Yeah, and you forgot something. Quest! Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> you need to get money somehow. Uh, yeah, we, we will get some from the plorts, but... Yeah, we'll have to be a bit careful at the moment. And probably I shouldn't have put the tabbies next to the coop. Yeah, you turn around quickly. No, they put usually the coop next to the garden. Yeah, t previously I've always put the two up here. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to rebuild it just yet. For now, though, let's take a look inside. Let's see. Star Mail. Rise and shine from Casey. Hi, uh, Bia. What's it like to sleep for a whole year? Did you dream? I can't imagine what it's li that's like. C7 puts you in a pot and then lights out for all that time. Wow. What's the far, far rains like? Have you started exploring? It's the air as clear as they say. I bet it's really, be it's really beautiful. I'm probably asking too many questions. I bet you have a lot of work to do on that ranch. I still can't believe it's yours now. I guess I better leave you to it and just keep it short. Good luck, B. Your BM. If anyone can make it out there, it's you. Oh, Welcome no. to the far, far rains. The Z uh, seven C, yes, seven C seven Cs. <laughs> Miss Lebier, the C seven Corporation would like to welcome you to the far, far rains. Welcome and extend our support in our, your bold new venture as a slime and in, in support standard. We would also like to request that you exercise caution in your first, first few days in the ranks. Until you get more familiar with your surroundings, traveling at night is not advised. Lastly, should you require any additional tools for your backpack or items to make your slime ranching experience easier, the C7 or the 7Z uh, Corporation will be pleased to provide them uh, to you from the shop located just outside your ranch house. 
the 7z corporation providing the tools you need to get the job done for us for a small fee so we are working for the dutch <laughs> well at least you'll get fairly compensated then and that's okay they're not no quests yet or weren't those from something else wait let's remember something Backpacks. There is a there is a company called the Seven Seas, and that's where I they usually get my manga from. Okay. Yeah, I think they are a Canadian company that deals with the translating manga sell uh, into the more Western audience. You just look at the little shit staring at the chickens. Right, into your corner. <laughs> oi. Did I really say oi? <laughs> you did. Oi oi. I haven't used that name in a long, long time. Oi? As a, in a indignant uh, hey or... Uh, cut that out type of way. Let's see, we sure, have... I think... I think you have that on shore. And that looks like a nice island. Uh, yeah, that's a, that logger is stationary there. We have to feed it to get it out of the way. So we'll have to find some food somewhere around here. Well, I'll also probably want some food if we go in there. This tree isn't done growing yet, or grow new stuff yet. Chickadoos we want, just in case one of them becomes a rooster. Uh, we can probably save up, we can make a new... ...room for something to keep the chickens a bit more safe. Yeah. Okay. Go. I'm guessing tomorrow both of the plants will probably have refilled. Oh god, I just realized something. Hmm? Is oh. this a ter terrifying weapon? I saw you up there. Just think about it. You should you shoot out several angry slimes at people. Right into the right. And there will be chaos everywhere. Uh, yeah, if, if just fill up uh, one of these things of uh, oatmeal with the uh, rock slimes and uh, have fun. Oh god, so Torah West. Okay, we can't okay. get that rooster. So let's just continue on. Oh, hello. Oh, look, the stony hen has a rock solid conviction in chicken stuff. There's no main thing there. Uh, rooster. Uh, I saw a rooster earlier, and hello. Treasure pod is locked. Okay, so it. Uh, that's. Uh, this symbol is a treasure pod, I'm guessing? Okay, how the heck are we going to have to unlock those then? Remember that page where the trees tells you? We are just going to that one. Yeah, we'll have to see. For now, though, Stony Hen. Favored by Tabby Slime, Stony Hens are thought to have evolved from the Hen Hens who once tracked deep into the mountains of the far, far range. Perhaps these birds were seeking a clarity of mind that one can only uh, truly obtain through meditation amongst those uh, lofty, barren crags. But most likely they were just stupid and got lost. <laughs> Stony Hand at the time. Yeah, same as before. They, they're just chickens, but they're a bit different. And the tabbies prefer these over the normal ones. So, yeah, once we... Oh, hello there. Yeah, we're not feeding you that hen. And you forgot the H. 
Uh, didn't we? We took a look at this earlier, didn't we? It's Maybe. Here. Let's take a look to just in case. Yeah, it, it, this is about the tree. So uh, why didn't right. it then okay. deactivate? Oh, so it's the same one then. All right. Okay. Uh, yeah, we don't want to fall into the the slime sea. Um, do you need to see the sign? Tuberry. Delicate, sweet, and they never roll off the table. <laughs> Favored by falls for slams. <laughs> Due to their sweet taste and curious shape, Q berries were quick to become a favorite among the first ranches on the ranch. They are often used in cakes and pies when celebrating special occasions like birthdays or Porta Palooza. Not Porta Palooza. Uh, okay. Okay. Yeah, we'll want to we'll want to grow some of these. And yeah, we'll, we'll find plenty of berries all over the place. And I think this here... Okay, never really noticed those are slimes at the top of those. This here should be our first roadblock. And hello, free cash. Yeah, it requires a slime key to open. So yeah, that's as far as we can go at the moment. I think there's a slime key behind that uh, the pink Largo. Actually, now that I look at things, the stream seems to be a bit choppy. Uh, oh. Also, there's something missing here. The stats bar. Okay, why was the stats bar gone? Okay, let me take a look at that. Yep. Let's drop that. Uh, bloom is always a bad idea. Apply. Okay. And yeah, that's a smooth that's a smooth 60 frames per second now. Yeah, Bloom tends to screw things up a lot. If I put this up again, is that going to lower the frames? Because on my end, it's showing uh, 120 frames per second, but on the recording only s it was at around 30 or so. Yeah, sorry about that people. I should I should keep an eye on that more when I start. Oh, hello there. Not you. Yep, chicken. Okay. Chicken. Yeah, it, oh, it's regrown. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm bringing this stuff back first. I'm going to pluck those. Because we need to feed the big slime. But I think we'll also need a jetpack to get out of there again. Or actually, as a... I can't see if that's a full path, or I'd still need to climb. We'll see in a bit. And yeah, just more slime just spawning out of nothing. Yeah. Here. Okay. No, you don't. And you're certainly not bouncing all of that to get in there. Neither are you. Okay, new roommates. And actually, I don't think the chicks count. Oh, hey. I. Me oh, okay. one of them got their hands on the boards. Also, you two. I thought the big one got the chickens. Oh, they're hungry. Okay. Yeah, when they're unhappy... Uh, yeah, they're still getting uh, grumpy. So let me quickly pick out the stone plorts. Yeah, there's a fourth one of them now. Uh, let's fire that over that way. Well, so do want to have it lost. No, they have those faces. Hey. Okay, hopefully one of those will grow 
into a rooster. In the meantime, uh, you two will just have to fight over that chicken. <laughs> One of them got it. Hey, get away. Okay, let's sell these. Ten. And let's see. Can we cancel this? Take the other one next to it. Uh, we have enough. Hello there. Okay. And I forgot to sell these. And grab the can, uh, yeah. can put on, uh, eight wrong button. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> just got stuck in a loop around <laughs> us. Okay. Oh dear. But yeah, uh, you, you could otherwise they put the new uh, hen coop next to the house. Perhaps? Yeah. 21. Um, let's just remove that and then we put in these because these are a bit rarer and harder to get. And oh. <laughs> yeah, even the, even the tree is a cube. You want to replot? Oh, I thought you were going to replot and play the entire thing. At, at least one of these chicken uh, chicks is bound to grow into uh, a hen. Well, most of them are going to be hens anyways. So, might as well remove the last adult. And there we go. Yeah. Might as well clean these up. Before the tabbies get out again. Speaking of, uh -oh. and stay in. <laughs> Just as one attempted. <laughs> okay. I get you. More food for the big boys. Okay. And now we just need. Actually, I should. I should grab all of the food over there, or at least most of it. And use it. Itchy, itchy nose. Use it to feed the big slime. We have plenty here. Okay, just get rid of this one. And then let's take a look at that mail. It's, uh, welcome to the Rain Sickness Exchange. Hi there, Beatrix. The name is Thor West. I'll keep my introduction short on account that we all got to work. No, all got work to do. I'm a long-time rancher here on the far, far rains and head of the welcome wagon for your local ranch exchange. The ranch exchange is a network of ranchers just like yourself who are looking to trade what they got for what they need. Slimes, plorts, food, whatever. All you need to do is check out the Slant Ranch Exchange um, machine daily and be sure to get your trade completed within the 24 hours. As more ranchers get added to your network, you should receive a hearty hello from them, so check your inbox. But enough join, we both got slimes to wrangle. Adios, Beatrix, Sora. Okay. <laughs> Let's sleep on some and she has a slime plushie. Well, of course. Okay. And this thing is already full. So let's literally pluck our rewards. Uh, no, go pluck. Take him up wrong. <laughs> uh, okay. I blame yeah. you. Ah, yeah, rooster. Okay, then. Let's keep two of the normals and the stone hand. Uh, do, do remember, we have to move the damn cage. Yeah. You, you, you see them, you step the cat over there. 
Uh, yes. I think it'll be a better since we upgraded this thing. I think it'll be better now to just put vegetarian slimes in here. Come on, are you that lazy? There's food right there. It's literally behind you. Be your taste, dear. There we go. Happy now, you little dumbasses. Okay, let's see. Jetpack, we can afford that just about. And with that, we can hover around a bit. North Peddler. Okay, that'd probably like get a thousand in cash. Okay, but with this, we should also be able to get uh, back from feeding that big slime. And with what we have, we should have plenty. Oh dear. Though, just in case... I hope expect you to feed the pink slimes that I'm having for some reason. Aren't you that possible? Okay, some of those got eaten. Let's see, over here. And yeah, we should be able to get back over there. Uh, the jet pack was more just for certainty. Okay. And there's some food here to start us off. Can we... We can't get mushrooms. Okay. That's 20 gone. Jelly burst. Gordo slimes. Bon appetit. Okay, so it was about 30. And that's our first slime key. And about two boxes. See? Yep. We can use you. And. Oh, okay, so the wrapped ones contain m ornaments. No stage ornament. Are they for the house or just be randomly placed in the farm? And randomly placed. Alright. Okay. Okay, that one had somewhere to go, I think. Uh, yeah, we have no neat use for that at the moment. We can take a look over here and maybe I can save a few carrots. Okay. Let's take a look then. Oh, okay, yeah, that one is angry. They have a Snickers. Uh, now I want a Snicker. Have phosphor plorts. And another key, or another door that needs a key. So yeah, we need uh, we need to feed the other slime to get uh, the another key. I think so. Let's use this one here. Open says me. Okay, that's that animation is new. I think from newer from since last I think. Mine all mine. The Indigo Quarry. Okay, let's have a look. The Indigo Quarry is a winding network of caves and cliffs, styriated, I've never seen that word before, with deep purple hues from the rare minerals found within it. It was once the site of a mining project, but went bust after the discovery that the rare ores it produced quickly break down in atmospheres other than that of the far, far range. Okay. It was later discovered that the means to harness these metals was via rock slime plorts. Somehow, rock slime plorts preserve the minerals within a process that eludes even the most prestigious slime scientist. The Indigo Quarry is a natural home for rock slimes and a more elusive rat slime, and is natural 
Uh, mineral rich soil makes for a great place to harvest most wild veggies. Part of the remains of a mining project that quickly went bust. Okay. What do you have to say, Han? But was always happiest when I was by my lonesome. Motor in the background, sorry for that. Places like this old quarry really suited me. Nice and quiet and mostly empty, so I figured that life on the far, far range would suit me just as well. And well, wouldn't you just know it? I came all this way and the first person I see mostly changed how I saw things, I guess. Why it wasn't good enough, not good anymore. I like to laugh. Sounds like he found love. Aww. Nothing here. I'm the imagine super awesome and too, man. And we missed something popping free there. And odd onion. Okay. Let's leave that here for a moment. I wouldn't trust this onion even less so than a normal onion. Bigger by crystal slime. I don't think I. I but last I played, crystal slimes were not a thing, I think. I don't Plant remember that. can only be foraged in the wild from the indigo quarry. However, you'll never encounter an odd onion patch. Instead, odd onions can be found randomly in other veggie patches. As the saying goes, forwards in the indigo quarry and you'll always find the odd onion in your hell. <laughs> Deposit an odd onion into a garden's depositor and strangely carrots will begin to grow. However, there's a good chance you'll find some odd onions in the crop as well. Okay. Okay. The odd onion is new. Crystal slime is... Wait, excuse me. I watched Jack Sepikai play this. Right. And he finished one of the earlier versions. Uh, there was... But I had an ending before he was released. Ow. And yeah, these are boom slimes. They're very meat, they eat meat and well, they go boom. So let's save these chickens before they go extinct here. There's another one of those capsules. Actually, it does. And I hear danger music. Oh, we've got tar. We've got two tar. Ow, ow. Rock slimes. And that's how we can get back. And now that one's just stuck up there. Waiting for okay. his time to seek his revenge. Can we get up here? Yes, we can. There's nothing here, though. Okay. Let's bring our hall back. And go feed the big tabby. Oh dear. And so I think you're also supposed to be able to upgrade the gun to be able to hold more. Uh, yeah, that should be. Let's pick up these while we still have can't. Hold up. They'll they'll bring a a nice bit of cash. Going to put that onion aside for harvesting. Now, I think that's also upgrades for our stamina so we can run longer times. Could we actually get on top of there? And it's another. <laughs> this one's a little less obvious since there's no mouth in it, but yeah, this is another slime. <laughs> Okay. 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 Yeah, don't want those. Okay. And get these as well. And 
for more than I saw they managed to jump over the edge. Put that there. We should... For a moment I thought it was a, this was a slime. I mistook it for a little slime several times now. And let's put this over safer. Okay. We left the... <clears throat> we left the other ornaments in the quarry, but we'll be able to get that back sooner or later. 1795. Okay, that's a lot uh, more expensive than last, I remember. Even yeah, I think it was only a thousand. Oh, yeah, I saw the PlayStation. This is the same. Okay. Uh, you. We're just putting you to the side. Actually. Let's just put you to work immediately. And yeah, here's the upgrade station. Let's see, dash boots. So, frankly, fashion forward boots reduce the enemy consumption of sprinting. Power core. Okay, that's a boost our capacity. Uh, that's the capa <clears throat> How much we can hold our health upgrade, and we can also add the water tank. Okay. Let's see. Oh, hello, Thora. Uh, help me out here and I'll make, make sure you get what's over. And you want boom slimes and cubes, and we'd get heartbeats, rock plorts, cash, and luminous plorts. Or phosphor plorts. Um, yeah, as long as it's the same day, we should be able to still get that. For now, though, let's uh, yeah, get a few of these. Boom time! Let's pick up a bit of the food here. There should be enough to keep you happy still. I say as one of them tries to sneak towards the chickens. Oh uh, yeah, let's keep two of each of these hens. And we'll sell these. And yeah, let's go get. Oh, we should hurry a bit. Let's go get uh, those boom to, slimes. Why are you bringing chickens? To the tab, to the big tabby slime. Oh, all right. Oh. Okay, that's a backup because, again, I think they will age eventually, and they will be un unable to breed. still happy, or at least the two original ones are still happy. Okay, so it took 30 fruits for the other one to be satisfied. So I'm guessing it'll be same, the same as with those. Okay, boom slimes. Uh, we'll read the description in a moment. Ow. And some... There you are. Okay, just need two more of you guys. And Hopefully there's more over here. Oh, hello there. Another of you veggies this time. Let's see. No more boom slimes? There is a map. Okay. There's two keys here to be found, and still have no idea how to open those things. Yeah, those are new for me. Oh, there I see boom slimes, as well as rat slimes. And yeah, what those do is pretty obvious. They're. Oh, rad. Yeah. I was your rat slimes earlier. <laughs> You know, they're radiation slimes. Okay, yeah, that's no, a bunch of them. Let's hurry back home. Yeah. 
I don't I don't know when those trades will uh, go away, but I'm guessing around midnight. That's typically how these types of games go. We're going to upgrade our sprinting speed and our stamina well, as soon as we're able. And that won't try to lunge at us. What does it mean that you often be running off a cliff? <laughs> okay, as much as it says to advise against nightly visits or nightly exploring, there isn't really anything dangerous about it. Yet, at it's least. Like an army of uh, horse lions. Now, I th I think it's once against because oh, no, you freaking don't. No, you're hungry. Okay. Come on. There you go. You, in the corner. This. No. Okay. <laughs> Even with fireworks. Okay, quickly grab all of that. Heartbeat. Uh, let's put that aside so we can grab these. Before they disappear. Okay, let's take a look. The boom slime. Careful, these slimes haven't been known to exp <laughs> <laughs> They favor the briar hen. Boom slimes are often heard before they're seen. The slime cells uh, of a boom slime are constantly vibrating, causing their slime to increasingly crackle with energy before ultimately exploding. However, the boom slime always comes out unscathed, though they were always a bit dazed. Boom slimes are constantly building towards an inevitable explosion, making them quite hazardous to ranchers. In addition to the e those explosions causing bodily harm, they also have the capacity to send all nearby slimes flying into the air, making them a hard slime to corral. Highly volatile boom plorts have all sorts of applications, including powering rockets, rosters, and demolitions. Military organizations value their highly destructive capabilities for medical technology and other research. Imagine that. Yeah. yeah. Right. Okay, and heartbeats. If you listen to it closely, you can faintly hear a veggie. <laughs> Favored by rock slimes, heartbeats get their name from their deep red color and heart like shape. Heartbeats are also usually ju unusually juicy for a beat, making it the only veggie that's not the that's not for the screamish in the kitchen. The pot and just more farm use. Right. Uh, yeah, since we probably won't be going for many rock slimes, I can probably just chuck these in a corner here. Of course, next I think you. Okay. Okay, speed upgrades. I should probably get a few more. Uh, <clears throat> a few more pens. Okay, if you start trouble one more time, you're going in C. You need to... Yeah, put the predator somewhere else. Okay, that should keep enough breeding stock. And let's sleep. Alright. See you in the morning. That was quick. Hello, do you need me? We got the Oh, you're hungry. All of you are hungry. 
Okay, since the evil art are easy enough to find... Bye. Actually. Yep. Yeah. That may get not be able to jump out. Yeah, we'll have to see. I get the feeling they prove <laughs> persistent enough. Yeah, we could put the net on the top. Yeah, do they uh, it may also depend on how many we have. Hopefully they're too few to get enough flying from on each other. Get back in there. Did he just? I think he did. How much is it now? Did out or jump out? We'll have to see. And they're bouncing on each other. Okay, there's no trades at the moment. Just to see if I can. <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> like you weren't going to try if you were playing this. Actually, I wouldn't. Well, yeah, yeah, keep telling yourself that. Actually, I'm I getting down to myself. Maybe, maybe I would try if I got bored enough. That's, where, that's a good batch of odd onions. Yeah! I don't remember exactly what happens if you feed a slime its favorite food, but I, th I think I remember something of it be dropping twice the amount of uh, plorts. Twice or more, I think. Okay. So, something to keep an eye on. Hello? Wait, hold on. Hmm? I know you... It makes sense you can absorb slime with that beam, but... Ain't that horrible for the chickens? <laughs> A bit. A new upgrade available. And I was almost going to get the chicken. And I will get the chicks. Oh, why I are you food. why are you hungry? You're surrounded by foods. Oh, a new star oh, mail. Oh, okay, so these fruits can go bad. Are you oh, stop being an idiot? And I wonder, what's he stuck balancing on a fruit? Don't think so. Or he balanced on the fruit for a bit. Okay. There's a lot of pink uh, floor feet. Floor feet? What? Floor feet. Hey. Floor on you. Oh god. What if you start using a swear word against each other? Floor to you. Floor to you! I hear more chickens. No, that's just my belly. <laughs> there you are. <laughs> okay. So, hey, let's not be relaxing about this game and fellow court humorous. Okay, we need yet more chickens for this thing. Yep, we're probably gonna need to upgrade the container. Oh, so you need chicken. Oh, you know. I think she had quite a hard upbringing. What? You heard more chirping. Okay, we'll check it once we're back. It, this area feels a bit wasted since there's nothing. This good sponsor. Oh, hello. Okay, I take that back. This is something hidden here. Oh, 
Oh, hello. Fruits. Okay, that's another Lago and another of these. <laughs> and I shot the chicken. Oh, this one reminds me of a VTuber a little bit. My okay. name is Fruits. Some angry lo rock Lagos. Uh, go. Here's a friend for you to play with. And, okay, there's a lot of rock hands here. And another door. Uh, where does this lead? This leads over here. Okay. Uh, will those three be enough to satisfy this thing? And another... Okay, another male. Victor Humbridge. Humphreys, I think it's supposed to be. Yeah, now I'm reminded of uh, all you being served with Mr. Humphrey. The uh, totally not totally gay character. I think yeah, I it's, an old, uh, yeah, it's an old British uh, comedy show. Alright. Oh. I think I heard the damage of them, but... Yeah. That's it. <laughs> okay, let's have a look. Yeah, phosphorus lines popping up everywhere. Does cause the risk of uh, tar slimes being spawned. Okay. Uh, once we've dropped all of these off, I'll go uh, collect up fruit and veggies. Yeah, you can do some uh, cleaning in your diet. Let's see. A bloody heck, those roosters have an appearance. I need to try and keep it balanced. Get rid of these. Damn, damn veggies all that do look tasty. I am kind of a bit of a... I like food and berries and such. One of them stole one of the Q-berries. Uh, did you hear the sound? Yeah, they meow. It was adorable. <laughs> give me that, please. Not a hug, give me that. The hugs are also appreciated. This is a hug you? No, I accidentally sucked it up instead of the foods. Let's have a quick look. Oh. Okay, carrot as veggie, hot onion also veggie. Uh, let's see. And if Q-berries are favored by the phosphor slime, we have 10 of those. That might be enough to satisfy the thing. Um, and then we have 12 carrots. Like that. Yeah, carrots and onions, probably not enough to satisfy the other one, but let's give it a shot. In the meantime, you all get out of the way and give me that. I feel like you could just uh, take some cloth at home and see if you uh, got enough coin for an upgrade. Yeah, 250, I don't think so. I think I have now, yes, actually. But... Yeah, tons of plot at home. Oh, we're full on that. And another ton, but still a good bunch, that I'll admit. Mm, but probably enough for one upgrade, but we're all, we already have all of this. So let's go take a look. First, let's deal with the, our caddy problem. <laughs> okay, that was just cute. 
What? Yeah, it, it, one of the, the plorts uh, balance on its head. Oh, so what? Uh, all right, so I did see that, right, at least. I thought so, something weird about his face. Uh, that's not enough for you, okay. Oh yeah, the the cat the the Largo. Actually, I think they have a specific name. Uh, Gordo slimes. It's a favorite. For... Gordo slimes are a rare phenomenon that occurs when multiple slimes of the same type congregate. Con congregate. Congregate. The result is that the slimes seem to merge together into a much larger slime that is seemingly incapable of movement. The Gordo will eat until it bursts, causing all the slimes to separate once more as well as revealing whatever object it, uh, it was that caused the Gordo to form in the first place. Gordos pose no risk uh, to ranchers, they can only sometimes be a nuisance that they, uh, in that they are hiding something a rancher must need. So if you see a Gordo, feed it. Gordos produce no plorts. Okay. All right. Let's see. You like these, right? Yep. The star gives it away. And it should have doubled the effect, and that's still not enough, apparently. You won't eat these, though. Hmm. Probably could have jumped down here first. So, can we get up enough? Doesn't seem like it. Okay then. We'll have to run the gauntlet over here again. Hello again. Oh, the okay, a roly poly chicken. We're coming with. Okay. Maybe these three will be enough to finally satisfy the, <laughs> the fat cats. Missed with one of you. Now come on. Why do you fit a rooster? Because we have two at uh, back at the place. Uh, right. At the same time, so, ain't it kind of terrifying you throwing a whole living chick to a small hole by those damn things? Uh, or is that maybe. Just... <laughs> okay. At least we don't see what happens inside them. Yeah, I presume it is uh, totally not like uh, the Blob in those movies. Yeah, hopefully it's a bit uh, quicker. Oops. <laughs> that one would have been farther than I wanted. Next. No other chickens. Uh, we do have this one here. Okay. And again, not enough. Yeah, we need them. Uh, we need to uh, upgrade the gun. Yeah. Ow! Ow! Right there, run away! Hard beats. So those are vegetables, I think, not fruits. Or actually, yeah. Ooh. Vegetables is what we need. What they do not need is radiation sickness. <laughs> what are these? Oka Oka. A tubular mix of colorful spuds. Favored by rat slimes. A staple of cooking on the range, the hardy Oka Oka is a naturally salty soft spot. As the key ingredient to the always tasty ranchers hash browns, 
they have likely been the fuel for a great deal of slime wrangling since their discovery in the rounds. Okay, so basically pre-salted fries. Some potatoes! Wait, okay. I might be very wrong on this, but I think spots is very common. Yeah, slime for potatoes. Yeah, by the Irish. I could be wrong here, though. Oh, and here we have water slimes. Every year. I used to come here when I needed a good soap. It's a great way to clear your head. Sometimes I'd catch a puddle of slime blushing, and I could never tell if it was because I was in my bathing suit or not. What? Blushing? Why would they... Why would they... Uh... Okay, we need the jetpack to get past here. But let's not risk it with all of our cargo. Yeah, I was to say, don't you dare jump. Especially when we're at low energy. It's, what is up here? Rocks. Oh, crystal slimes. Okay. And chickens. Crystal slimes, veggie. Okay, uh, which of them was it again? Let's see, was it the cuberries? No. Hard beets? No. Um, the odd uh, onion. Uh, oh yeah, odd onion is crystal slimes' favorite. Okay, let's uh, let's get rid of those and let's get ourselves some crystals. It's clear as shiny, transparent rocks that. It, these slams are dangerous. No, it's just clear. <laughs> okay. Oh. Ow. Okay, we should get a rest soon. I think you need to flee. You have 69 health. 79 health. Okay. There's another one of Hobbs' spots. We're actually regenerating health? Okay. Yeah, we're oh, Taurus. Yeah, try to get out of here. Yeah. No need to ask what in Tar Nation, because we know it's the Tar. <laughs> yeah, that was the sound of my despair of in panic and more panic from here than a terrible pun. It's a separate entrance. Hello there. Okay, what about these is the danger? Uh, we'll find Wait. out back at the ranch. I'm pretty sure health didn't regenerate before. Or when last I played. It, it, it takes them a bit of time before it starts regenerating, so... Yeah, oh, you yeah, still have there. to be careful. Okay, I overlooked this earlier, as well as this. Okay, a happy little ornament this time. Ow. Wait. Actually, you over there. That should help me remind... remember that that one is there. This should be more than enough hands to feed that tabby. Okay. As for you, will this do? No. <laughs> An even bigger glutton than the other one. He, he was vibrating though, so... Likely close. Not that way. Oh dear. Okay, we need to be careful now because there's three different types here. Okay. 
our annoyed phosphor slimes again. I don't know where that came from, but okay, I'll take it. Any more carrots or other vegetables for me to grab? Plenty of plorts, but I have no real interest in those at the moment. Yes, do you want to visit or something? Uh, one of those idiots that doesn't know <laughs> the food when they <laughs> it's right in front of them. Well, you did shoot it right in his face, so... Oh, God. Yeah, we have enough uh, birds. Um, another coop. A corral. A corral. Okay, what is it so dangerous about you? Favorite odd onion, believed to be a cousin of the rock slime, the crystal slime is covered in a crown of shimmering crystal spikes. These spikes seem to form from the crystal slime, generating a tremendous amount of internal heat and warping the minerals around them. Truly alien behavior. The sharp crystals adorned on the crystal slime's crown will cause a great deal of harm if touched. Worse still, the crystal slime routinely creates large patches of hazardous crystals in the environment around them. Though thought to be a means of expelling internal, expelling internal heat, these crystal passes are ultra hot and can be shattered if splashed with water. Okay. That's so the, true. Though the crystals produced by the crystal slime are highly unstable, crystal plort, like all plorts, is far more pure and can be used by slime scientists to engineer a variety of metals that are completely transparent. This innovation has led to metropolitan area in metropolitan areas on Earth, completely transforming visually, allowing more light to reach the streets and the space as a whole uh, a chance to breathe. Architects often describe these transparent metals as so totally cooler than normal boring metals. <laughs> okay, let's clear the pen and the pen out. Did my brain just break? Victor Humphreys. If possible, please acquire the following for a future study. My thanks. And he wants 20 pink and 9 phosphor. Okay. And they're already forming... They're already escaping as well. And what do you want, actually? You're speedy little fast bastards as well. Oh, I see how you escaped. Now hold, hold, hold. Those spikes yeah, are ejection they, seats. They are the ones you need the net for. Okay. okay, I'll feed you some onions. Actually, let me clear this place out a bit. Not all the okay. There we go. Uh, you get in there. Where did you get? That one got. There you are. Okay, those uh, crystals do break out <laughs> on their own. Yeah, let's. 72? Okay, yeah, we want those. Uh, 20 pink. Okay, the timer on there, so... Um, so we have half an hour. Yeah. Let's if put I you for right. in this corner. Actually, I think those stony hands should be enough to feed the one. Watch it turn out to be not enough after all. Uh, it'd be very good if you can get some more money. I'm sure we'll get some money from the upgrades uh, just to make things easier.
Okay. Give me those. And those. Okay. Yeah, that'll be enough to afford a net. Or at least higher walls. Uh, actually, we both. Or not. <laughs> okay, but at least that should keep them in better. And yes, it seems that they produce uh, two when you feed them their favorites. Nope. <laughs> now, Phil, that still got me paid. Yep, let's see, can we please upgrade this forward for them, Doug? <laughs> let's see, tank booster. Okay. Yep. There we go, that should make things a lot easier for you. At least so that you can carry around a little bit more. Yeah. And oh, stay on the course, not but alright. Oh, there's so much of these. Yeah, they, they, this should be easy money. Yeah, they don't give much, but just the, the amounts that they all spawn, even in the wilderness here. Yeah, it, it's good early on the money. That she looked up all night, okay. Yeah, if you want to slip one of the points. That's twice now, I think. Forty about. Power core, and now we have more endurance as well. Nice. Okay, I I think that my, yeah, I'm going to turn my fan off. I think it's actually starting to uh, annoy me a bit, or at least. Almost make me sneeze. It's also you need to clean the fan. Yeah, it's just the, uh, the the cold air passing over. I think. Okay. Ah, all right, all right. Okay, we should have more than enough freaking out. <laughs> that was my own doing. More than enough carrots now. Uh, yeah, that. Needs back there. And just in case that cat still won't be satisfied. And I can hear, yep, Tar. Away with you, Allah. Yeah, you can see how fast they can spawn, or how fast they can spread. Once they start showing up. Quite terrifying, ain't it? Yeah. Especially knowing they want to eat you. Okay, back here. Now oh, come on. I don't think you can puncture it with a carrot. What the heck? Yeah, that's the sound that angry slimes make. Ow, ow. Yeah, and angry slimes will actively jump for you. What did you do this time, Frankerum? 
Uh, they they just don't have anything to eat. Finally. And an or wait, but the I oh oh yeah, I forgot. Uh, wait. There's a teleporter. The docks deep down in the great blue sea. I saw a thousand slimes smiling back at me. Oh, 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 oh. That, that, that'd be a sight. That'd be a sight. Okay, you all can have these. Give me that. Uh, let's get through the door. What's in here? The rock slime. No. Nope. Uh, you come on, you little. Uh, Wait, did you need some of those things? Of the yeah, I need some of the crisp of the phosphor slams. Uh, yeah, let's. Were you sitting on my head? Uh, I think it died yeah, there. Okay. I think they're all full. Okay, but yeah, this is a teleporter for easy access back and forth from here. See, where does this connect? Oh yeah, this is one of the side areas that uh, we can open. I actually thought this teleporter was supposed to be behind there. Hold on, what did I... But that's the harbor, the docks. Okay, so we can't make too much use of that at the moment. Oh well. <laughs> All of them went to chickens. They can just smell them straight through the wall. <laughs> By the way, I had mentioned this before the stream, but there's a sequel of this game in the works. And I am curious of what they'll do with it. Yeah, yeah, got you curious. And yeah, we got quite a few uh, star mills and you still, you guys? Price still. Okay. Phosphor and crystal are the most priced for uh, the, mo the best that we have access to at the moment. Let's see, 433. We should probably see about opening this side because that leads to the teleporter. Yeah, that makes sense. No, I really hope we're able to, able to finish the damn quest. The, the, this pain times of easy enough. Let's see, still have 22 minutes. Uh, yeah, but first let's check out these mails. Salutations, Miss LeBeau from Victor Humphreys. Uh, allow me to introduce myself, I'm Victor Humphreys, professional slime rancher, slime scientist and amateur musician. Our understanding is that Miss West has already informed you of how the range, uh, range ex exchange works, so I will spare you any further education. Instead, I'll illuminate you on what you can expect from my own request as a slime scientist slash rancher. I have a tremendous interest in the liquid form legion that we share this vast range with, the slimes. My studies often keep me from venturing out on the range daily, and when I find myself short of a particular species, I use the range exchanger 
and range exchange to fill that gap. Don't worry though, I'll reimburse you handsomely for your efforts. Good luck in your new venture, Miss Penelope. I look forward to seeing life breathe once again into the former Twiggler's ranch. Sincerely, Victor Humphreys. P.S. I once lost my favorite fiddle while fleeing a feral boom slime. Its value is only sentimental, but should you find it, I'd very much love to be able to play it again. Okay, so that's sort of a quest. Wait, that's more mail. Yeah. My pet cactus from Casey. Hi, B. I bought a cactus from you, sort of. When I came back home, it was one of the only things left in your shop. I was a lonely little guy, so I decided to adopt it. You know I kill every plant I touch, but I promise you this one will last. I mean, if I can't keep the cactus alive, when clearly some, uh, then clearly something is really wrong. You're wrong. When I look at it, I think of you out there on the range doing your thing. I hope you're okay. Should we feel insulted? I feel like more like feeling more concerned. If she can't handle the to raise the, the cactus. So don't be uh, being insulted. And actually you plot can keep those for now. I think there's something special about Casey if I remember right. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. I think Casey is the girlfriend of the main character. Could be. We'll have to see if there's any big hinting going on. Though again, I wouldn't find being compared to a cactus that flattering. Oh, you meant it? Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, that. Okay, I can see the insult part there. Some early heartbeats. And another of those crates. Okay. I think the tour have thinned out the, bit, the place a bit. That's a very uh, door like <laughs> formation. Yeah, a bit suspicious. Hmm. Ray Ranging. What is that one? Collect 50 plorts on the range in a single day. Okay. 50 in total. Okay. Thank you, volunteers. Oh, hello. How did I miss this? I'll leave you lying there for a moment. Yeah, you missed that entire tree on the wall. You know, yeah, the burger food isn't really useful. Let's see, and over here, is there anything? Just some tabbies. And a few more carrots. Full on carrots. Let's see. I hope these carrots and the heartbeats will be enough to finally satisfy that rock. Uh, uh, Gorg. What was it again? Gordo. Gordo? Yeah. Gordo. And. We still haven't fed the one beneath here, or it hasn't satisfied them yet. I think I just had an idea for a good uh, pet name for one of them. And that is? Gordo Ramsey. <laughs> okay. <laughs> need for chickens. Okay. There we go. And another teleporter. Some chickens. Ow. The ornament. And another ornament. 
Okay, I'll take these rock ports. This. Where is this? Did we did that? Oh, that put us at the other end of the ranch. That's this is the sheltered area that we can buy. So, this, are we supposed to be able to continue over here? Guess not completely. There's no further extension this way, except maybe. Is there a path back up from there? Hmm. Okay. Uh, that leaves us with the fruit, Gordo. It also leaves us with uh, an overflow of carrots. Ow. And we'll just throw those to something. Let's see. There's something else up this way, but we can't reach that high. Oh, hello. Just you. And it's another rock ornament, which all don't look too happy. Let's see. I wonder why. Okay, little charts. Hey, yeah, don't forget you need to get some, uh, you know, clue we want. For the guy? Yeah. Okay, what is over here? He already forgot that. Let's pass this way and yeah, big ass uh, skeleton. At least part of one. Check so what's this way. Question. Yeah, there seems there there only seem to be slimes around here. But some of these seem to be ruins. Yep. Oop. Maybe yeah. that's what the sequel is about. Exploring the other animal life as well. What what civilization? There was, while of course, uh, ranching slime. So, another teleporter. Okay, where is this leading? The heck? Oh, more phosphorus. Of them. And I should keep in mind that I don't get lost. Okay, two more. That's the last one. Ow. Yep, I to get out of here. Uh, let's see. We are nowhere close. To... Actually, there's a... there's the teleporter. Let's see where that's... that takes us. Closer to home, hopefully. Yeah. Let's see. Get it. There we go. O okay, so I was right in remembering that that was there. Or that there, uh, there was a teleporter over here. Okay. One little straddler. Uh, 
can we do? Two. And we got mail. Oh, the Ortis. Let's see. Most of these are still priced well. And we got a thousand. Uh, yeah, let's save now to open the side areas. Yeah, you got some more. This won't get doubles, but it will keep them satisfied. I think the way to be able to up means you can have the damn thing collect the torch for you. Yeah. And I'm probably going to do that with this one. Since, uh, well, it's a bit hazardous to go inside. Yeah. Okay, I'll deal with you the moment I've dealt with all of this. Fortunate. That is for an over 5,000 new bucks. You can afford a, a, a new area now. Back in there, you. Okay, Lord Collector. Purchase. And that leaves us just short of the amount that we need to buy. Oh, never mind. Oh, yeah, this should collect plorts for us now. I think I saw one in there. Yes. Must have been there before we activated it. And Oh, hello. What's here? Another area. Ranch expansion. The lab allows you to begin 10,000. Uh, yeah, that's, that's a no for now. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna need the other expansion areas before that. Okay. Yeah, well, yeah, let's start with the... this one. Oh, yes, we can have an area for the other thing. Yep. And we can put phosphor slimes in there. Still doing well here. Even though the chickens are complaining. Okay, if this doesn't fill up the fast the big fast for slam, then I don't know what will. Okay. Yeah, I know not that would. They won't even eat those because the fruits. Ow. It sounded like it got flung. Oh, it got sucked up. And that one. Okay, hello. Ogden Ordits. I'm working on a new recipe. Help me out. You'd give us that and... Okay, six berries. Five Arca. One big bouncy little bastard. And two odd onions. Okay, we should we should make a place where we farm with the arcas. Um, let's see. This is as close as the slime is ever again. Okay. Oh hello there. All of you get in here. There we go. Yeah, I think these. I think we can leave these just to float around inside the cave without a real corral. At least for the beginning. Okay. We'll also get quite a few from Dust the Big Boy himself, and that is too early to go down. Uh, we have hit two hours, though. 
So once we finish this one off, shall we stop or shall we just keep going for half an hour more or so? Or at least to check out the... There we go, sweet short. Mosaic. Is this a fun game? But it is getting late. Alright. Put that aside, grab the ornament. And yeah, we should. Let's head back. Or actually, let's not head back just yet. Dodge these guys again. Let's open up the gate at the other side here. Or I had actually forgotten that this was here. Okay. I, w I was meaning to go for the one at the. Uh, Need a tabby gordo. But this will work. Hmm. Is there anything specific about this place? Except for another big ass rip cage. More cube uh, berries. And who lit all of these torches actually as well? Uh, uh, hello? Beach ball slime toy. Oh, I think those are more entertaining slime. Okay, uh, let's keep this then. And there's a Gornardo again. A cat Gordo. And <laughs> that was a slime stack. <laughs> I'll put you here as a reminder. Now, where did the ball go? Where did it go? Did, did they knock it into the sea? Or did you shoot it into the sea? I didn't aim at it at the very least. <laughs> I don't want to have those freaking balls. But how are we supposed to break those open? Okay, this lead. Oh, this is the other end again. Okay, so it links back and around. And there's where the first Gordo was. Hmm. And yeah, I get the feeling that ball is lost. Hmm. Okay, so we know to get chickens again. Oh, hello. Ornament. Yeah, I might as well bring them all back. And hello there. I used to come to this beach to think. I'd sit and stare at those distance rings and illuminate, ruminate on who created them and for what purpose. Most of all, I'd sit here and think of her. Those rings. Okay. Yeah, there is something going on in the history of this place. Yeah, oh, well, yeah. And yeah, you could see it on that... Oh, that's a lot of rock. You could see it on the face of that big rock slime that we passed. <laughs> yeah, the, the tour scared the absolute shit out of the slime. Okay. Probably best if we just keep the rock hands since that will that should count for double in feeding the gordo. Emphasis on should. Okay. Alright for now, let's just bring all of this back. Yeah. And we can Bad check the mail. Oh yeah, you should probably read the mail before we end the episode. Yeah. But we forgot to read about the new guy. Uh, yeah, drop all of these off in here. We have five new spots. Yeah. 
Okay, and you all have fun. And so they have a rain party. Okay, that's a teleporter to an autumn area. Ish? Autumn ish. And yeah, I'm not planning on making this a full let's play or some. Uh, we'll probably get through the end of this game eventually. But uh, I'm not planning to do it like every Saturday for now. Maybe we will, but I'm not actively planning on it yet. Let's see, Ogden Ordis. The name's Ogden Ordis. I'm a slam rancher, much like yourself, but I mostly fancy myself as a farmer. I came to the far, far range to grow fruits and veggies the way we used to back on Earth, by getting down into the soil and getting our ha your hands dirty. Did you know that carrots improve your night vision? Yeah, seriously, they do. They do not. I don't see why all ranchers aren't just gobbling them down every chance they get. Being lost out in the range at night can be so dangerous. Well, don't let me ramble on. Yeah, you hear? <clears throat> we'll be in touch via the range exchange. Now, I tend to only raise slimes that eat fruits and veggies, so expect those kinds of requests from me. Looking forward to doing business with you. Oh, oh. P.S. Ever heard of gilded uh, ginger? It's a mystical veggie that is said to be the favorite food of the is equally mystical gold slime. But some say that neither of them actually exist. There are gold slime. They are a very rare spawn. And, well, they're on the board here. But, uh, yeah, if you can get if you can find those and you can feed them by well they they'll run away from you so you'll actually you'll have to actively shoot them with food uh, then uh, yeah you will get quite a few out of uh, quite a bit of that and oh it has two of these because you can also put gordos in here and you are unhappy, so just let me steal a carrot out of here. There you go. Now he's a big happy kitty again. No. Uh, yeah, we need a lot of chickens for that one gordo. But beyond that, I'd say that'll be it for tonight. Okay. So, yeah, what do you think of Slime Rancher? A low charm. Yeah. And I could say this would be a very good game between... Yeah, like games where we had problems with, like, uh, impossible creatures. Or we are playing a very, very grim game. Yeah, we just need to, well, like I said in the title, Arvanor, rest and relax. Yep. Okay, but for now though, as all of this mayhem is going on the, in the game, uh, anyone has been watching now later on YouTube, thank you for watching, and as always, thank you especially for here. Oh, you're most welcome, my friend. And yeah, tomorrow, something Sunday, where we'll be trying up to four games again. I'm not entirely sure yet which, I have one selected, and uh, as usual, I'm going through them alphabetically. But I'll just have to see which of the next batch of that to block out that seem interesting. There we are. But as always, until then, until then. Be safe, folks!